these are the highlights of India's smartest podcast, The Ranveer Show. Welcome to TRS Clips. Make sure you hit that bell icon and don't forget to subscribe. Elon Musk basically everyone knows what Neuralink is for those of you who don't know what Neuralink is say if someone has had some kind of lafda in their brain something's gone wrong in their brain some part mm-hmm. of their brain is malfunctioning uh, Neuralink is a computer body interface mm-hmm. which means that it links your actual biology of your body to computers and using those Bro. computers mm-hmm. you can actually send electric signals within your brain because what is a nervous impulse when i'm lifting my arm it's mm-hmm. basically some sort of electricity that's going right. on in your body right. and even tesla used to say this that our bodies are completely made up of electricity that right. you can actually manipulate if you have the right machinery which is why they also say that tesla didn't release a lot of his um, inventions. inventions yeah and if you watch the movie the prestige yeah. there's actually a whole section on tesla knowing christopher nolan who directed the prestige right. uh, he would have actually done research about some things that for tesla sure. actually Made. Sure. They say that urban legends are Tesla didn't release a lot of his shit. Uh, Elon Musk is very fascinated by Tesla, yeah. which is why he's obviously yeah, named clearly. Tesla Tesla. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure that somewhere Elon Musk looks at himself as a punar janam of Tesla yeah, in some form, like the, like yeah. the Western version of that. Ki, uh, <laughs> Tesla tha. So my yeah. point is, Neuralink is supposed to fix a lot of. Uh, problems uh, related but to brain. But what problems? Like what so, problems are so extreme in my brain that I need some external chip to fucking penetrate in my body and solve it for I me? I think Dr. Sid Warrior, the neurologist, is the right guy to answer okay, this. Fair. But from Elon Musk's conversation with Joe Rogan, what I gained is Elon Musk actually said that any brain related problem, any neurology related problem can mm. be fixed. So you're talking about things like maybe Alzheimer's, where it's a degeneration okay, like of certain actual, parts of your brain. Like, yeah. Illnesses, illnesses, serious yeah. illnesses. Yeah. Or say, so there are different forms of blindness. Some huh. blindness is related to your retina. Right. Where your retina gets damaged. Some forms of blindness are related to your mind. You know, mujhse shaadi karogi when Kadir Khan has a blood clot in his brain yeah. and it moves, and they are like, every day unki personality badalti hai. That, that's not an actual Dugal, illness. Dugal sahab, aaj Dugal sahab, aaj Dugal sahab, yeh. Aaj Dugal. <laughs> but anyway, I am assuming that it's uh, maybe uh, issues related to. Parts of your brain malfunctioning. Mm, mm. Now uh, I don't know what the exact illnesses are, but Doctor said why did a fantastic episode about basically illnesses of the brain with Got us. It. One of our best episodes has not been watched by a lot of people. It's called Dark Side of Your Brain. So he spoke about what happens in your brain biologically mm-hmm. in depression, mm-hmm. what happens on a hormonal level. I think all those things will be kind of fixed. Uh, all of it can't be fixed because even neurologists they say have understood very little about the brain. I think there's a lot more than you, the world but and neuro, neuroscience discovering. But are you always discovering. worried about the fact that some coder can go gung ho crazy and just fuck shit up in your brain, bro? It's exactly that. That's the concern. Right. And we are just. I mean, dude, the way I look at it. Uh, when cars were invented, there was a possibility of accidents. But yeah, it's also that like when social media was invented, there was always this question of privacy and all that. But we still ended up voluntarily uploading our family's photos, or you know, just you know, uploading our favorite things and dislikes and whatnot. Mm. So you have a detailed history of your life on yeah. the internet. Oh, this is interesting. Elon Musk is developing a brain implant for humans that he formally said may have potential to save and replay memories. What the f- so it's like Snapchat goggles, <laughs> but inside your eyes That's and your mind. Wild! It's like having my own Google Photos in my f- mind. Yeah. <laughs> in that particular Black Mirror episode, basically when the characters are having sex with each other, huh. they use uh, their previous memories as pawn to fantasize during actual sex that they're having. That's the dark side of this particular thing. Bro, I don't. The Elon, I'm not going to be a f- customer, man. Yeah, but uh, let's see what happens. You know, that's that's one thing I want to highlight that in the middle of talking about crypto and the metaverse, people mm. don't understand all the things that are happening in the world of biotech, right. which is all these machine body interfaces. Yeah, which changes things for us directly. Like yeah. this is bodily changes and shit. There's stuff that's happening in the world of genome sequencing. There's stuff that's happening in stem cell research. Right. Effectively, again, without getting into the details because we're not experts of those topics, but stuff like... Um, you know, they say that uh, scientists have now figured out a way to kind of go about anti-aging. Yeah. So they figured out, okay, what are the genes that cause aging in the human body? And they're able to alter the DNA of those genes. So right. in the future, if you have designer babies, um, you can... Designer babies? Yeah, that's an actual thing. <laughs> designer clothes, no designer bags, no designer babies. <laughs> uh, but okay, coming back to the present, this just happened. There's another company called Synchron mm-hmm. that implanted a brain chip into the jugular vein of someone called Mr. Philip 
who was paralyzed for a very long time this was without a surgery and this actually happened so the flagship technology is something called stentrode and stentrode is an endovascular brain implant which means that you put it inside a vein and i'm assuming it finds its way to the brain or it stays in the <coughs> vein uh but it took 4 hours for the patient to start using it and hear this okay he could wirelessly control the digital device through his thoughts he could play solitaire through his mind and he also tweeted something just through his thoughts oh i wouldn't want to give that software to you bro <laughs> that, that's not <laughs> happening we're not getting that <laughs> but my point of saying this is this is where biotech is going i think stephen hawking used his fingers or some some kind of finger movement to type out things and whatever he typed no out at the later it. stage of his life it was just thoughts i think are you sure yeah where the device could sort of speak out his thoughts because he was so paralyzed that he couldn't move anything So how did Stephen Hawking talk? Hawking previously used his fingers to control a computer, but once he lost use of his hands, he started depending on twitching a cheek muscle to communicate. What the fuck? <laughs> so, I mean, he could speak a whole language through his cheek muscle. No idea. Whenever the cursor reached a word or phrase he wished to use, ah. Hawking twitched his cheek muscle to select it. Uh, What oh, the fuck? Oh, yeah. So it was like a in in engineering and in coding we have those if else. Yeah, basically yes yeah using yes no my god so if he even want to say a simple sentence it would take him time to construct it or yeah. <laughs> maybe we used to only hear him talk in speeches and he would pre plan those probably, speeches probably yeah probably that damn dude that's a tough life man that's a tough life yeah oh this is exactly what it is because of this stephen hawking speeches and interviews were done in advance to save time okay uh, <laughs> so he had he took Shit. very long to to Shit. say something using his <laughs> cheek muscle but now just using your thoughts wow. you can tweet that's in <laughs> five years time yeah that's interesting yeah like i'm sure touch screen i remember the first touch screen phone i was i was in 2005 i remember this very yeah. clearly but there was talk of touch screen phones in 2001 2002 yeah so until it becomes i won't say cheap but at least <coughs> it becomes a d2c product direct to consumer product yeah. it will take another five years four yeah, five easily, years yeah easily easily that's fucking crazy dude So to close this neuraling loop, what I also want to say is that one thing Elon Musk didn't talk about in that Joe Rogan episode is that if neuraling can help fix the brain, I'm sure at some point version two or three of neuraling can help enhance the brain, like the movie Limitless, another massive right. movie recommendation. Yeah. Everyone should watch it. Bradley Cooper takes a brain enhancing drug, so he becomes extremely fast paced. He right. uses it to become a stock trader, stock trader, yeah, uh, and makes a lot of money off it because yeah. he can just read things faster, he can right. code faster, he can become a better writer. He also uses it uses it to kind of um, become a much better lover and improve his and personality. Dating game, yeah, yeah, dating game, yeah. and it it's a great movie. It's a great thought experiment kind of movie. And those are my favorite movies to watch. Yeah, that makes sense.